so this is a small playpen setup for the new hamsters that I got. Dwarf hamsters are supposed to be Russian dwarf hamsters. Um, if they're not, you guys should let me know. This is the first time I've ever had hamsters. I'm definitely a gerbil person. Um, gerbils are supposed to be cleaner and they totally sleep on my schedule. Um, but now that I do night shifts, I don't think it's so bad with, it's going to be bad with hamsters just because they will, they will be on my sleep schedule. Um, gerbils, like, when I go to take a nap, they take a nap. It really works. I don't know what these guys do exactly. Um, I have the right bedding, food, um, everything that they need. Um, I, there are supposed to be two girls, and I'm hoping, but the more I looked at the brown one, I'm kind of concerned that it might be a boy, so if one of them looks pregnant, we may have a slight problem. Um, right there, that's Jelly Bean. Uh, she's definitely has a lot of personality from the moment that I got her, for sure. And that is Mushka. Um, it's a term of endear- it's supposed to be an a term of endearment, like big soft eyes or something like that. It's also a Polish word meaning little fly. But Mushka, I thought was a perfect uni name, just in case Mushka is a boy. Um, that way it could be a boy or a girl name, and I think that um, it would work fine for them. Um, so yeah, um, th they were pups together. Um, I don't. I've only had them for a day and a half. I've, I've only seen them like fight once. So I like I don't know too much about the fighting behaviors of hamsters. So if you have advice about dwarf hamsters, uh, they're supposed to be Russian dwarf hamsters. Again, if they're not, you should probably let me know. I got I did not get them from a pet store. They were given to me by a a stranger, I guess, who could who whose hamsters were just breeding, just breeding, breeding, and she just um just needed to get rid of them. So I have these two. Um, Jelly Bean and Mushka. Um, again, if you guys want to tell me anything about them, maybe the way they're reacting or behaving, um, I would love to know. Um, now, I know that they have a lot of plastic in here. Um, I don't want to hear about the fact that they need more wooden things because in their cage, they have like this is part of their cage. They have a lot of wooden um, toys and they do have two toys. This is just a temporary playpen so I can show them off in um, they don't go into hiding that much. I gave them one hideout in case they really did want some privacy. Um, and this is usually in their cage for now. So they get a little bigger, I might get them a bigger one. Um, but they seem to like that one better than the other wooden little hut that they have. I don't know why. It could be that that's also the environment that they kind of grew, they were growing up in. Just because they were in a habitat, habitrail oval. Um, if you guys know what that is, it's, you know, just look it up online. It's habit the Habit Trail Oval. Um, I don't think those are very conventional for how many gerbils or uh, hamsters that were actually in that cage. Um, it looks like a nice big cage, but I'm not sure. I'd rather just stick with what I have, which is tanks. Um, right now, those are the gerbils' tanks. Um, they're big. They're two stories, and... Um, they work because of how big they are, and I feel like even though these guys are super, super tiny, they deserve to have a big cage and to be able to run around and be free. So, again, if you guys have advice, um, I've never had dwarf hamsters before, and I also don't look for, I don't know what to look for as far as behavior-wise, to know. Um, I do know if the female gets pregnant or she has babies, you're supposed to remove the male and then put it back in later on because he's supposed to help out with, um the babies, but uh, besides that, I don't know. So, alright, well thanks for sharing.